Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about Liz Crokin calling out Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner for their affiliation with Sean Diddy Combs, as well as their silence. Know that Diddy is getting exposed. Not only that. Liz Crokin is also exposing what they did to Ye by putting Ye in a 5150 and after Ye went to that Wyoming ranch, how they sent a medical team out there because they wanted to allegedly, you know, change or fragment rather. The word is fragment Ye's mind. And when they get him fragmented, Ye would have signed over his record deals and royalties to Kim and Chris. They're saying allegedly that was Kim and Chris's intention towards Ye. Now, if you guys don't know who Liz Crokin is, Liz Crokin is a, is a conservative American. She's a columnist, a conspiracy theorist. She is the journalist that Jay-Z alleged former mistress, Kathy White, who is no longer with us, sadly, Kathy White went to Liz Crokin. She was going to um, come forward about her involvement with Jay-Z and the alleged pregnancy. However, just days before Kathy and Liz Crokin was to go public, Kathy White was found dead in her apartment under mysterious and suspicious circumstance. Ever since then, Liz Crokin has been speaking out consistently about Jay-Z possible alleged involvement in Kathy White's death. Now more than ever, many people are paying attention to everything that Liz Crokin has been saying and is currently saying. I also believe that she did a sit down. Yeah, she did a sit down recently with Tasha K, that famous YouTuber blogger who got sued by Cardi B, who got sued by Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart falsely accused her of trying to blackmail him and extort him. That has been proven to be a lie. And Tasha Kim came out victoriously on that charge against Kevin Hart. However, the rest of the charges are still pending. They're still in trial. But let's go back to Liz Crokin, right? Because Liz Crokin is now calling out Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, because we know that Kim Kardashian, and this is the thing about Kim. People say Kim is a nice girl, nice girl we are. Kim is shady as hell. Kim plays dirty games. They do not do anything that's normal. Whatever Kim needs to do to get clout, fame, and attention, she's going to do it, even if it means to throw the father of her four kids, the man who gave her that true celebrity status, got her on all the red carpet. Kim will do whatever it takes to get that man down so she can exploit those four kids and make whatever she wants out of them, just like what her mama, Kris Jenner, did to her. Now, what is Liz Crokin saying? Liz Crokin tweeted, she said, and I quote, maybe it's about time people start asking if Diddy pals, Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, and their clan strategically targeted vulnerable black famous men in honey trap and or black male operations to use abuse and control them so they could enrich their evil empire. There's a reason Kanye Ye West said the movie Get Out is about him. Get Out is a film about black man who is enslaved and mind controlled by his girlfriend's wealthy white family. Ye also claimed Kim was trying to put a 5150 hold on him just like they did to Britney Spears. And we all could see evidence of that. Ye has, well, end of her quote there, sorry. And what she said, what Liz Crokin said, we could all see evidence of that. They were even trying to, trying to get Ye on the same medication that has ruined Britney Spears' mind. When you go on that medication and the dose that they were given to Ye was almost lethal. Ye said that when he kept pressuring them, asking them, you know, 
I forgot the name, but I know that you guys will, um, you know, catch me up in the comment section, right? There's a clip that is all over social media. It's on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Ye was in an interview and Ye said when he asked them, how much was of that medication were they going to give to him? It took them days to respond to his request because they were so embarrassed by the amount because that amount could have possibly taken him out. And it doesn't end there because if you remember, Ye was hospitalized because he was sleep deprived. And that Dr. Farr said, just listen to how messy Hollywood is. And the word is not even messy evil. Just listen just how evil Hollywood is, right? Remember, Harley Pasternak, he went to do, according to him, a wellness check on Ye. When Harley Pasternak went to do that wellness check on Ye, who did he call? Dr. Farzan, the same doctor who was treating Kim Porta when she allegedly passed away from pneumonia. And we know that it's not pneumonia that Kim Porter passed away from, as per Sloan Bella. And the streets, as always said, Sean Diddy Combs allegedly ordered Kim Porter's casket before her passing, which is given the sense that they were slowly poisoning her. And the psychic medium Sloan Bella said Kim Porter died as a result of toxic metal poisoning they had shavings of it on different items in her home which means that every time she touches something that was uh, contaminated it was slowly poisoning her the fine micro particles goes through her nostril and it was slowly killing her so while they were there treating her for pneumonia and the flu she was dying but dr fasten could have done a blood work to see what was going on with her immune system why didn't he do that he was the doctor who was treating her when he died when she died sorry he was the doctor that is caught in all of drake's mess and it doesn't stop there when Harley Pasternak went to do, according to him, that wellness check on Ye, because Ye was sleep deprived for three days after ending a tour in Europe. He was sleep deprived for three days. Harley Pasternak called Dr. Farzan. Dr. Farzam called 911. He told them to bring back up because things could potentially get out of control. They were saying Ye was violent and aggressive. Ye was put in a 5150. Temporarily, he got out, right? Things didn't go completely successfully as they were aiming at, right? However, <laughs> this is what is so funny about all of this and so questionable. After that, there's a clip of Harley Pasternak pronouncing his military affiliation, telling the world that he has access to certain drugs and substance that even causes sleep deprivation. This is the same man who went to do a wellness check on Ye. Ye was sleep deprived for three days and he called Dr. Farzan. This was the same man who was Ye's fitness instructor, making his smoothies and all of that. So you know that there's so many red flags at this point. It is all connected. It's a, it's a chain connection. Harley Parsonek, Dr. Farzam, Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, P. Diddy, Kim Porter. You think about it, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And remember, Sloan told us, it's not as though the Kai Jenners are not involved, but for some reason, they always manage to land on their feet. They are a family of witches. And not only that, people with old money connection and old money ties, they always get away because Kim, father's friend, they are still protecting her, her sisters and Kris Jenner because if Kris Jenner goes down, Kim is going to go down. So her father, friends, they're still very much active in their life. They guide them, they instruct them and all of that. So these people, they will forever feel mighty and powerful, especially when they realize they can do things and get away with it. But the veil is thinning. And they are all getting exposed at this point, And people are going to go 
down. Some may escape it a little bit, but we know that people are going to be held accountable for everything that they have done. But that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. It is your time to chime in. Let me know what are your thoughts about what Liz Crokin is saying, calling out Kim and Chris affiliation with Sean Diddy Combs and what Kim and Chris did to yay. Let's talk about it. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. See you guys later. Peace.